Hey Haveran, this is Mukesh Atwani once again from LearnHaveranOfficial.com So today in this video we are going to discuss about the test data in test trigger Okay, so in the previous lectures, so if you talk about the first test that we have written with uh, test trigger which is login to application So if I quickly show you a uh, test case, it is looking like this, right? Where I am passing my username into username field and I am passing my password into the password field Now when you work with test automation passing the test data directly into your test case is not a good practice right you have to always parameterize why because let's assume you have multiple test cases for example you have 100 scenarios or let's say 100 test cases in all these 100 test cases if you're passing some test data let's say username password itself if your test data is hard coded in your test cases and if test data is getting changed then you have to update all your test cases right so again you have to spend a lot of time to update the test cases so it's always good practice to parameterize your test data it means you have to take this as a variable you have to pass in your test case so that in case any changes in the test data instead of updating your test cases you should directly update the variables okay that's what we're going to do so in our case right now the test data that i want to parameterize is username password in case this credential might change so I don't have to update my test cases. I will go ahead and update my test data. Okay, so that's very easy in test trigger. Basically, if you see on the left hand side, we have one option called test data, right? The moment you click on test data, you will see we have something called global variables. So let's create two variables, one for the username, one for the password. And then I will show you how you can use that variable in your test cases. So you can also search. Okay, the moment you have your variables, you can do this search as well as of now click on add as you can see we have different type of a variable right you can see we have a text we have a hidden and we have file so text is basically a text variable so let's say if i create one variable called username and the value which i want to add here is admin this is our username right so depends on your uh, test case you can update the respective variable as of now for this example I'm updating two variables one is username one is password so this will be the name that we will refer and this will be the value and this is just a username so I will keep it text click on add and you will see this variable here in case if you want to update your variable at later stage you can update directly from here as of now I will not update in case if you want this if you don't want this variable you can delete it basically from here so the next thing that I want again I can add password as well okay in a text format but let's add password as a hidden field or a hidden type so this I will say password and I will use the password that is required to log into this application so I will update the password okay so you can use your password and I will click on add since it's a hidden you can see it's hidden and I same thing you can update and you can delete next variable which i will show you in the file uploading scenario you can also create a file type variable you can give a name and you can select a file which you want to upload as of now in this scenario we don't have any file uploader scenario so this we will cover in the next videos as of now i have two variables let's go back to our test case and now just go ahead and let's add the test case okay so earlier we used to say enter admin into username but now I don't want to pass this test data directly. I want to take from the variables that we have created, right? So instead of saying enter uh, admin directly, what we can say, we can say enter stored value. You have to use this stored value. Now you have to pass the variable that we have created. In our case, we have created variable called username. Now don't get confused guys. This is actually a field. So if I show you the application, then you will see this is actually our username field this is our password field and i have created the variable with the same name so don't get confused this is a variable and this is the actual field same thing i will do for the next step i will say enter stored value and i will be using the variable that we have created in this example the variable name itself is password okay if you don't want to uh, make it in a similar way you can just type your name or uh, pass or username or password it's up to you i have written same and now i will click update and retest so this time we are not hard coding we are getting this actually from the variable so in all the test cases whenever you need username password 
in each and every test case you can just say enter stored value the stored value is important now let's click on update and retest now it will take few seconds and you will see the test data will be taken from the test data section that we have created okay so as you can see now the test is running and uh, if i click on more details this time can you see it actually took admin and it took password from our test data and it is running so it will complete login with logout and it's done okay test has been passed now let's do a negative scenario in the negative scenario what i will do i will update my username to let's say mukesh and i will update this variable so you can see stored value username was updated and this time when i go and if i run my test case again obviously this time it should fail because now we have an invalid username so obviously our test will fail and let's say uh, what kind of reporting it will generate so let's do the retest and let's wait for the execution okay so as you can see now we have more details as you can see this time it has taken the updated test data which is mukesh and the password is the same okay since now we have invalid credential obviously test will fail and it will show you what exactly happened with our test okay and as you can see now it is actually getting failed okay so if you see this time it is not able to log in if you um, enlarge the screenshot it says invalid credential and if you see it is also giving you uh, this part it says failed because the older screenshot was this like after login it should bring like this but this is the latest one so this is how test trigger can help you that what was the last result and what is the current result so this is the old one and this is the new one okay so now i'll go back and i will update my username to the actual username which is admin and this time our test should pass okay so that's how you can do this whenever you need any test data in your test cases do not hard code please use the test data and parameterize because if you parameterize your test data then test maintenance will be very less you don't have to spend much time on updating all the test cases and test data will keep on changing guys the moment you change the environment or let's say the same environment is getting refreshed with the different data test data will keep on changing so never ever hard code the test data in your test cases since i have updated now i can retest and it should run fine perfect so this time it executed successfully if i click on more details it took the username and password and it worked yeah so click on more detail and this time it took the username and password yeah so that's all for this video guys so please try this from your side and let me know if you face any issue and uh, if you think this video helped you then do support this channel share with your friends subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye